really excited because we're starting off with one of the truly iconic, this is where it all began with Roberta's plants. This is your Oriental totem pole. The final quantities that we have of this growing season. Every single one of these totem poles that you see right here, they are 20 to 30 years old already. 20 to 30 years old. This is it. The final quantities that we have for this growing season, they were extremely popular last night when we debuted them. We've already to date sold over 125,000 to date. And for those of you getting them, 3175 is your price, M10043. Tell us a story on how this was really the beginning. Yes, every story has its legend. The totem pole is the original plant which began Roberta's in 1964. 50 years ago with my great grandmother. Now, believe it, New York World's Fair, those were really popular back then. My great grandmother thought, okay, I want to bring something really interesting, unique to the fair. She brought totem poles. Now, they were really tiny back then. The farms that we own were really fresh and young. So they, so were, they were getting smaller little totem baby pole. totem poles. Okay. And those blew out in the World's Fair. Okay. And my grandmother thought, wow, I'm really onto something here. I want to start a family business. Let's do a garden company. And so we've had the totem pole ever since, but the benefit for you now, today, is you're looking at pieces of our farm, which are 20 to 30 years in the making. These are not those baby totem poles that she started with at the World Fair. These are 20 to 30 years old. Now understand, one side is going to be covered in a green wax, and you're going to leave that there. You're yep. The red wax, as you see down here, we started scraping this away. You take like a little butter knife, and you're going to scrape away until you get down to the wood. Do we need to scrape all of it all the way off? I mean, as much as you can. It's okay. really easy. It's soft wax. The reason why we coat it in wax, Jackie, is because we've got big, tall, 30, 40 foot tall trees. Right. And we cut them into little intersections. And so this is literally an intersection of a tree. We coat it in wax to preserve the life inside. This okay. is a live, living log. It's not firewood. No. It's actually wet inside. Now, when you get this home, this is the genius of totem pole. This is why we've had it for 50 years so what do we in do? our company. Because after you scrape the wax off. On the red side only. You're going to put it in a glass of water here. And make sure that it's in a bowl larger than the actual totem pole because mine actually grew and swelled and then got stuck in my yeah. <laughs> in one of the vases. May put in something like this. So How many weeks are we going to put it in water? So six to eight weeks you're going to leave it in water. This is going to fully rehydrate it and you're going to start to see beautiful leaves. At that point, you're ready to plant it in a pot. Now, totem pole is unique because you Look are at looking at a plant which has evergreen year-round leaves. Oh, yeah. Then it never drops any leaves. You're going to have this watering once a month in a low light condition once in the month. house. Once a month, low light condition. Now, here's the other thing. Do you see the sizes here? If you want your totem pole to be medium, put it in a medium pot. If you want it to be large, put it in a larger pot. It depends on the size of the pot that you put it in on just how big the totem pole will get. Over 2,500 orders have been placed already. What are we looking at here, Derek? So and these are the final quantities we have in the growing season. Yeah, what we're looking at is a great centerpiece for anywhere in the house. You can see on the kitchen table, the thing that's unique about totem pole is it never dies back. You're no. going to have beautiful jade evergreen leaves year round. What makes it special is it's low maintenance. You water it once a month and that's all you do for it. Now, people like fake plants, but why have a fake plant when you can actually exactly. have something living, growing, bringing that vital energy into the house, fresh oxygen. You're looking at a growth uh, chart here basically. You start out with six to eight weeks, that's in, in the, the water. water, and another six weeks you have that middle section there. Transfer to and soil. Then, and another six weeks you've got a fully grown, I mean for that size pot, yes. tree. Now you control the size of the tree by the size of the pot. If they're in the ground like our own farms in Costa Rica, wow. they can get very tall, about 20 to 30 feet tall. Wow. However, you're never going to have to deal with that because you're not putting them in the ground. These are no. not winter hardy. These are house plants. These are house plants. And here's the thing. If you are a brown thumb gardener, you can't grow a thing. You can grow the totem pole. 
This is, has been in our house for over 11 years. It has been something that is so easy. It is it's just a happiness. It's so interesting, by the way. And as a family project, whether it's with your children or with grandchildren, to do this together, the instructions are here. And, and trust me, everybody, when they first start out with a totem pole and they put this in the, in the water and they go, really, I'm, I put this piece of wood in the water and I'm just gonna sit and wait. Know, well, right? what happens is over the course of those six to eight weeks, you're going to start seeing the roots coming out through the bottom and you may start to see some of the green starting to peek out and it will just start popping out of different areas. You never know where it's going to come out. So you said regardless of this level or this level of green, in six to eight weeks, you put that in the soil mm -hmm. and you put it in the size of the pot, whether you want it to be medium, small or large. Here's your update on this. Uh, we're down to our final 3,500 for the rest of this growing season. And if you decide to buy more than one, what a gift to give somebody who's starting a new home. To start with something yeah. that is so easy because well, they're already 20 to 30 years old and they're going to live how long? Another 20 to 30 years. That's great. What can you say that you gave to your friend or your loved one yes. that they're really going to keep for 20 to 30 but years? But you only have to water about once a month. Once a month. There's, there's low commitment here. It's an indoor plant. Um, you know, it just needs that wonderful light, you know, just a little bit of light. This beautiful green foliage that you're getting. To understand, it's one of the, the, the ways that Roberta's really started with, of course, Roberta's. And we're thinking about now something that continues that tradition. And if you've got questions, remember, there's always the guarantee. So this is the way it starts. So we put it for six to eight weeks in water. Mm -hmm. Then we transfer it over into soil. Yep. Now that's in a smaller pot. So if you put leave it in a smaller pot, you it's going it to stay indefinitely. It'll, yeah, it'll, it'll stay. stay that size. It'll stay about that size. The yeah. leaves may get a little bit bigger, but it'll stay about that, that that size. If you go to a larger pot, it will get larger. So you mm -hmm. control yeah. whatever size you now, want it to be. We're seeing our own farms in Costa Rica. These trees are special. In the Asian culture of feng shui, yes. the masters state. Exp you know emphatically that the totem pole represents wealth longevity and happiness in any home that it's placed so 2200 remaining okay wait hold on let's go back and talk about this so everyone want to listen to this so with feng shui what is it said to to believe longevity with the health well-being this is the energy that it brings into any situation and we've seen it personally because Roberta's was founded on that principle on the totem pole and think, that's why I was talking to Derek last night. I go, so then in feng shui, how many of these should we have in our house? One in each room? You know, but if you are thinking about maybe in your living area where your family dwells, those of you who want to have it and have it in that prosperity area of your home, this is that beautiful totem pole. But many people do buy more than one because it is easy that you only have to water it once a month, that you're putting into the size container that you want to contain it in. Um, the beauty of these leaves, this is a year-round gorgeous house house plant but that is 20 to 30 years old when you receive it you scrape away the red wax only on the one side you leave the green wax on the other side put it in the water after six to eight weeks you put it in the soil look at this small one right in the center of a table what a great look for of prosperity and happiness yeah, when we have a house plant it brings fresh oxygen it brings life to any room what does this look like what, what is we're this? doing is we're showing basically six to eight weeks between every step here so in a short amount of time you've got a from a piece of like apparently dead timber, dead yes. logs, you have a beautiful living tree which is gonna last 20 to 30 years in your house or your loved one's house or your friend's house. That's why these are so special. We've had these farms now for over 40 wow. years. You're literally taking home a piece of history of our family and Roberta's when you grow the, the totem pole. We're down to the last, okay, here's the big, okay, here's the big news. We're down to the last 1,500 for this gardening season. And we have over a thousand of you on the phone lines. So if some of you are buying more than one, that means it's completely gonna be completely sold out. If those of you wanna bypass those thousand people on the phone lines, you go to QB com your telephone app to order your totem pole now this is it for the rest of 2015 so m10043 um, do not miss out on this